Jesse Smolik, Al Charpton, what do these two men have in common? Call us at 720-324-7278. Inner Vision, taking you to a new level of Christian radio. www.innervisionrecords.org, the official website of Inner Vision. Send us feedback, requests. Help spread the word about local musicians. We are Inner FM. Once again, welcome to Inner Vision, the Facebook Live, Spreaker Live. Can we call it a TV show live? Only show produced in the state of Colorado by a totally blind guy. So if the camera camera is not too exciting, uh, the camera work is not too exciting. Well, it is. It is what it is. Um, oh, I, I so I also wanted to before I, I get into my topic today, uh, I want to talk about President Day, and I, I, I was thinking about like the the president that I. Uh, out of all the 45 presidents we had in this country, the ones that I think about first are the ones, that Washington, that was part of starting the country. As the philosophy was, uh, they were breaking away from England, and they wanted to develop a country where they had a, a government that represented them, but they wanted to self-govern themselves, raise their kids in the way they wanted to raise their kids, own their property, uh, pretty much have freedom from a king. And at one point, you know, as, as they were going through this, uh, after the, after the, uh, the, the revolutional fight that Washington had, um, the, the, the people wanted to come back to him and say, hey, we want you to be the king. But Washington knew that they, that's what they just broke away from. Right? And he said, you know, some guys would, would have had a got their ego together and said, well, hey, you know, hey, you know, I, I kick butt. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I encourage these guys to go forward. I mean, I had a bunch of 18, 20, 18, 19, 20-year-old guys, and, and we, we've had victory over one of the most powerful armies at that time, uh, uh, and we had victory. So, hey, why not me be king? But they said, no, this is a republic. This is going to be a republic. And uh, we will guide our future, not a king. But we have representatives who represent our interests, not them representing their interests like they're doing now. Uh, so that's, that's one, of, one of my favorite presidents. Then my next one would be uh, Abraham Lincoln, who uh, after they started, after the Democrats in 1826, with uh, President Jackson, you can look it up, started the KKK to terrorize uh, slaves and, and well, the terrorize the slaves and the, the, well, the free slaves and to try to return them back to slavery. After your Democrat at the time started up the KKK, then uh, went into the Jim Crow laws, uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln, before that, you know, he, he said, hey, we're going to free the slaves. We're going to free them. And all men are created equal with unalienable rights as human beings. Okay, so that's number two. Abraham Lincoln, who, and, and uh, it is, is reported that he was really in love with this one lady that he, he was married, and, and Washington uh, was was you know, had no kids, um, but uh, Abraham Lincoln was married, and he was going to marry this girl that he loved very much. She was 17, and I guess back in those days, they used to, uh, to make a little extra money, they used to dig up this thing called carrot root, which was, uh, it had a, a substance in it that people, that dentists use for numbing the mouth, so when you have, go to the dentist, um, you don't feel the pain as much as you could feel it if you didn't, didn't have this numbing thing. But if a cow ate this, the milk, which we shouldn't be drinking the cow's milk anyway, became very poisonous to a human being. And if you drank it, uh, it would end up killing you as a human being because it, became, it made the milk of the cow very toxic. You drank that milk, then you drank the poison. 
So the woman that he wanted to marry, that he was very much in love with, uh, she ended up dying. So he married this other lady that he wasn't maybe so much in love with as he was with the first lady. But if he had been, it probably could have changed the history because if you're married and happy, you spend more time with your wife and you take care of those things more. And you, 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 know, you work and stuff like that, but you take care of her more than, than you would with other issues. But because he married his second choice, he had more time to spend on on things of of like freeing uh, the black people of slavery, which when this country started, they, they America, we knew that slavery wasn't the right thing to do, and and we were one of the first countries to reverse this in word on paper first. And it took until um, the Civil Act uh, in the 1960s to really reverse some of those things. And, and now the day, uh, as a, a black man, you can walk into a restaurant, any restaurant, without a sign saying colors only or colored door, colored bathroom, colored wa water, water places. As a black man, you get your education and you can achieve things. We have some of the most rich, richest basketball players and football players and um, rappers and singers and artists uh, that are African American uh, than we've ever had. Lawyers, doctors, uh, people that have invented things that in this country ever before. So in nineteen uh, in eighteen fifty six, when the lawyer, when this uh, judge said that you know if you if you had any uh, African blood, you were less than human. Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, which they don't teach what Abraham Lincoln says in school. They only teach what the Democratic racist judge said about black people, but they don't teach what, uh, what um, Abraham Lincoln said, said, no, that we are born with the inalienable rights for life and the pursuit of happiness in this life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. But in your school books, it's taught about what the judge said, not what Abraham Lincoln opposed the judge, which Abraham Lincoln was a Republican, and this judge was a Democrat. So check out your history book. Uh, read it. You get the names there. Uh, and, you know, don't just Google what I'm saying. If you, if you don't and say, hey, Johnny, you, you punch your book, just Google it and you'll find it for yourself and it'll give you all the details. I didn't tell you. This. The next president, I would say, even though he was a Democrat, he did try to follow through with, with um, getting uh, blacks to the level where we are now. Uh, John F. Kennedy. Now, he's not, the Dem he's not one of the Democrats of the day. The Democrats of the day is, is a... Is a uh, Radical left wing, very radi radical, um, Soros led, Soros funded group, the far the far left wing. The moderate moderate Democrats are, are probably similar to Kennedy of of the the sixties. The Democrats of the sixties, um, but it's totally rally changed today. What you see the the uh, Far left doing now, and maybe maybe not so far radical because as they you had Democrats back in the '60s, they were the radical far left and didn't uh, like black people, didn't like minorities. You have the uh, far left of the day who pretends to like blacks, who pretend to say point the finger over to the to the right and say that they are the enemy when they know that they're just sheeps, or no, let's put it this way, they are wolves in sheep's clothing. Check out what, what, what did Barack Obama do for African Americans? I can, I can tell you a lot of things that he did for the G, GLB, Q2Q population, but what did Obama do to make the lives of, of black Americans better and if you have if you know put the comments down there come on go
go ahead and put the comments down there and say, 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 Obama did these 10 things. These 10 things Obama did directly affecting black Americans. Uh, yeah, 10. Come on, name, name 10. Right? But I bet you can name a bunch of things that he did for the LGBTQY group. I bet you can name a lot of things that he did for them. Right? I bet you can name a lot of things he did for them. But name 10 things that Obama did for black Americans. Right? So the left, they have lip service for black Americans. But in reality, they're the same group that in 1826 started the KKK, then the Jim Crow laws, then when President Johnson in 1965 started up the welfare thing and directed the social workers to make sure that the man was not in the household, husband and wife uh, households went from 75% black and black uh, husbands uh, staying in the house to the reverse where now there's there's 72 percent women led households by black women that was all because of your president democrat president johnson when he implemented the welfare act to make sure that the government would be the daddy and he would take the black man out of the equation then your president Clinton, the rapist, the sexual abuser, the, the one having a party time with Monica Lewinsky in the White House, not 10 years before the White House, but in the White House, your President Clinton, the soul brother number one, soul brother number one with the sunglasses and playing his saxophone on the Arsenio Hall show, he, in 1994, put a nail in the coffin again and, and said, we're going to have a war on drugs and we're going to focus in on the black community. Marijuana, you smoking marijuana, you're going to get 10 to 20 to 30 years. First, of, second, first, second, three strikes and you're out. That's what your Democratic President Clinton did for black people. And then, oh, don't forget 1973 when uh, Margaret Zinger, uh, confirmation of she wanted abortion on demand for everybody. And now we have 60 million unborn babies, most of them black and brown, because there's a Planned Parenthood uh, uh, killing uh, gas chamber. You keep talking about uh, President Donald being a, 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 a like Hitler. Well, the Democrats are even better at killing people before they're born, before they have a voice, than Hitler ever was. 60 million as of 1973. Look it up. Black genocide. Look that up too. Black genocide. So, hey, I know facts elude the left, but uh, hey, you can look it up for yourself and you can see what I'm saying. Now, let's get to the topic at hand. I want to remind you that Innovation is a nonprofit organization. We work with physically challenged musical artists to teach them the business of music and uh, to teach them uh, um, how to get their music out there. We're having a, a, a CD release uh, party. Uh, we're building up to it on the uh, March the 8th, and we want you to go up and, and either get uh, Mark Johnson's single song or full CD, Brother D'Angelo T CD, or Finger T CD. Go to our website, intervisionrecords.org. Now let's check into, let's see who's uh, joined us so far. Give a shout out. Hey, Mike Johnson. What's up, my man? Kelly Sheridan. Thank you for watching. Hey, how do you do? Denver King is watching. Hey, the king of Denver. Denver. Hey, okay. Dean J. Washington Sr. is watching. 
Danny Mingus is watching. Dwight March, how you doing? Alabasi Omar is watching. Thank you. Democratic Republic. Okay. Thomas Deboy. I like that name, Deboy. Oh, Black Like Me was required reading. Yeah, I, I watched the video and uh, I did read that as well. Very interesting book. Brandon Turrentine is watching. Jeremy Wallace is watching. He made racist more prevalent. Obama, you're talking about? Or, yeah. Starting my day, all right. Okay, all right. And uh, I know other people are going to be joining us as well. Now let's get into this uh, Jesse Smolik and Al Charpton. What do they have in common? Well, um, okay. I, I know last Friday the, the uh, MSNCE or what, those, those left-wing TV channels uh, that are, are into fake news where, where they were jumping on the bandwagon and even some politicians, even uh, Mike Coffin uh, here in Colorado, uh, the knucklehead he was, since he's running for president, he wanted to jump right on it and all, and, and Nancy Pelosi, all of them jumped right on it and said, and said, this guy, he, this, this poor guy, he, he, he had the, Donald Trump in the heart, Chicago, the heart of the Donald Trump uh, supporters. A few people know Chicago is nowhere near the heart of Donald Trump supporters. Lie number one, ding! Uh, as a... The, the the killing rate and Obama didn't do nothing the eight years that he was in, in there has just was just been driving with the uh, black black and black crime which Black Lives Matters don't seem to uh, want to see that they they just want to point their fingers at at policemen and not uh, uh, look in the mirror and try to go to Chicago and end some of that carnage but but uh, Jesse. <laughs> Smolik said, "Hey, uh, these two black men with with mega hats on came into my house and put a rope around me and smacked me around and called me some some uh, uh, racial names and called me some some uh, gay names, and I'm a victim. I'm a victim for the Democrats." Because Democrats love victims. As long as you're black and brown or white or gay and you're a victim, come over here to the Democratic Party because we want a victim because we want to feed off you like a lynch feeds off its prey. Uh, but uh, the, it seems to be falling apart, his story. But all these... these uh, these are uh, these uh, Democrats and these politicians and these Hollywood stars were jumping on it, as they as they said the the star of the Empire show, uh, the one that we love so much, the one that uh, uh, shows uh, Black America how how they should live and and because they don't have fathers in the households and they need a they they need a leader to show them how to live their life. They can't figure it out. Uh, with with the help of their fathers who are not in the house anymore. They can't figure it out with their mothers who are leaving the house. They can't figure out how to to be a man with integrity unless we put on a TV show or put, a, put in front of them uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce and uh, President Clinton and, and Obama. We have to show them the leaders and Al Sharptons and Jesse Jackson, the leaders, because they can't lead themselves, they must be followers. Because we, they, they, we, they, we could go into their neighborhoods and we can lie to them once a year, and they'll believe us, and they'll follow us till the end, right into the sea of disparity, and think that it's the Republicans that's causing us problems. It's the white man that is causing us problems in this land. What a bunch of BS. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now, Al Sharpton, 19, was it 1987, when Twala uh, Broadwick, Broadly, <laughs> Twala Broadly, who changed her name, who changed her name, 
She got. She came home late one one time, and her her, her stepfather got on his case. And this is be you know, you know, it's interesting. That she had a, a father figure there. Then she said she didn't want to get in trouble again. So let's make up a story. Let's make up an elaborate story. And uh, if you go back and look at some of the Google this on YouTube. You'll find this one detective, he, he kept experimenting to find out how she did it, how she did it, you know, to herself. And uh, and Al jumped, and it was another racial incident that happened with this uh, black kid who was chased off of the speech by a, a group of uh, white thugs. That was for real. But Al chopped and didn't grab onto the real thing. He went to this false thing, Right? And they sued his butt for $65,000 and he had to pay that. Now, they're still, they're now in the process of getting the reparation back from Toronto, Bus, uh, Toronto Brawley because they sued her and, and then she changed her name. Then they lost track of her. Then they caught up with her. Now they're garnishing her, her paycheck. She's now 40 years old. A liar. Both of these people, um, Jesse, Tuala, and Al Charpton liars. When it's really, there are some crimes that are committed in this country that are real. And these two people, these two people have the gall to make up a story. The girl, because she didn't want to get punished by her stepfather, Je uh, Jesse uh, Smolik, because he didn't want to get fired from the show because he, instead of working hard, instead of doing something, you know, that will uh, make the, the producers and, and, and the directors say, hey, this man is working hard. Uh, yeah, he's going to be on the show for a long time. Instead of working hard, he has to lie, take taxpayers' money from the city of Chicago with his lies, because, yeah, the taxpayers, they put in, they, they want off crime, original crimes with, with all the, the killings in, the, in there, in Chicago, they they diverted those policemen to go over and look at this liar. Yes, liar. So instead of them doing the job to solve real crimes, they have to go over here and debunk the liar. And Al Chompton was driving uh, back in 80, 80, uh, 87. He was just, he was really driving. He had the, the God-given gift to, to rouse up a group of people. And instead of using that for good, Al Sharpton said, like the regular Democrat, he was left-wing extremists. Democrat, and when I say that, I, if you if that shoe doesn't fit you and you're Democrat and you're not you're not extremist, don't wear that shoe. If that shoe doesn't fit you, don't wear that shoe. And for for the right, if people are calling you racist and stuff, and that shoe doesn't fit you, don't wear that shoe. Don't wear it. Speak your mind. Speak the truth. But for the extremists out there who are lying. And we had a we had a few here who this, this uh, one uh, cross dresser said that somebody scratched up his car in and, and, and the Capitol Hill area, and it turned out to be a lie. Stop lying. There's enough criminals out there doing real crimes, and you're just wasting what money that we're that's already been wasted by the left wing uh, Democrats. Bigger government, bigger, bigger this, bigger that. They're already raised, wasting mo more money. I guess you guys just don't care. Wait, uh, hey, they, they got money to waste on this. Let them waste it on my lies. So in my opinion, and it's probably going to be proven outright, publicity is a stunt. And of course, nobody's going to go to jail because the left, they can lie. They can uh, point their fingers. They can, they can do uh, crazy things and like Hillary Clinton, they're not going to lock her up. Bill Clinton, the rapist he, he is, they're not going to lock him up. I'm beginning to think that this whole political thing is just a bunch of actors 
and they practice their line. Chuck Schumer practiced his line and his, his crocodile tail so he can go in front of the camera and, and say, this is a mean-spirited president. You know, I just think these are just a bunch of actors, right? And people say, well, we well, got a reality star in there? Well, yeah, he's, he's, he's fitting right along with them. They're a bunch of actors. Only he's more popular than they, than they are. And they're just kind of grab onto his coattail so they could be just as popular as, as he is. Uh, oh, man. But anyway, so that's my thoughts on it. Um, give us a call. Leave your voicemail. You may hear it on our show, 720-324-7278, 720-324-7278. Uh, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Uh, follow us on Spreaker. Uh, Mike Johnson, we're going to have a, a speaker show out with you tomorrow at about 1130 on uh, Facebook, so listen to that. It's going to feature one of your one of your songs as well. Um, and uh, Brother D'Angelo T is going to feature one of your songs. Fingers T is going to feature one of your songs as well. So we ask you to, to check out our speaker. Uh, if you if you like this, uh, follow us follow us on uh, like our page on InnovationRecords.org. dot uh, org. Follow us our our speaker. Uh, we need more followers on that that as well. And uh, these are just my opinions. You know, we have freedom of speech here in America. This is President Day. Um, we want to uh, thank uh, the good and the bad presidents that we had throughout the history of, of this United States. And we just hope that we can just keep it together and continue uh, making this uh, republic the greatest republic ever because uh, America is a great place and it is evolving. Uh, we're only turning in some odd years old, but uh, we're continuing to develop and uh, hopefully won't be, be like other empires that have fallen, like Rome and other places like that. Uh, hopefully we can continue this and, and, uh, and make, it, make it even greater than what it is. For Intervision FM, as uh, I conclude this, I'd like to th <laughs> thank you for this. God bless you, and see you the next time. Isn't it fun to sing along to the radio? If you could help someone else have that same experience and take it to the next level, maybe you would consider donating an old car, RV, truck, or boat. You know, for over 15 years, InnerVision has been helping the physically challenged and grassroots artists to create their music. Using music to heal the world is InnerVision's gift to you, and you can help them to continue by donating your unwanted car, RV, truck, or boat. You'll also receive a tax deduction at the end of the year. Call us seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 1-855-500-7433. That's 1-855-500-7433. Charity ID 4015. Your unwanted car, RV, truck, or boat is tax deductible, and it can make a difference right here in Colorado. The artists at InterVision thank you for your support. Make that call toll-free using InterVision's charity ID 4015. Again, the phone number 1-855-500-7433.